Samsung will be releasing three models of the new Galaxy S21, the Galaxy S21, Galaxy S21 Plus, and Galaxy S21 Ultra, codenamed O1, T2, and P3, respectively on the 29th of January 2021. Want to know more about the features and specifications? Continue watching this video. Before we continue, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button below to be the first to get a notification on our next video. The Galaxy S21 model comes in very beautiful colors including, the Phantom Violet, Phantom Grey, Phantom White, and Phantom Pink, while the Galaxy S21 Ultra will only come in Phantom Silver and Phantom Black. The base model Galaxy S21 features a plastic rear cover, while the S21 Ultra has a silicone cover. The camera bump extruding from the upper left corner is also a part of the frame itself. However, the frame and camera bump will come in different colors depending on the colorway of the device. For example, the Phantom Black colorway has a black frame and camera bump, while the Phantom Violet and Phantom Pink colorways have a copper body. Our sources tell us the Phantom White has a subtle blue tint with a bronze bezel, similar to the blue and gold Note 7 colorway. The Galaxy S21 Ultra offers S Pen support though the stylus will not be included in the box. Instead, Samsung is planning to sell cases that will store the S Pen outside the body of the phone. The S21 Ultra doesn't include a wall charger block, case, or headphones in the box, just a USB-C cord. The information specifically refers to how the Ultra is being sold in Germany, so consumers in other countries may get some or all of the above accessories packed in with their pricey phone. The Galaxy S21 and Galaxy S21 Plus will both feature FHD plus 120Hz displays, but they will not receive the advanced adaptive refresh LTPO panels feature on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. The Galaxy S21 will have a 6.2 display, the Galaxy S21 Plus is 6.7. The Galaxy S21 Ultra has one of the best displays on any smartphone. It's a 6.8 WQHD Plus LTPO display with an adaptive refresh rate of 1Hz to 120Hz. The S21 Ultra maxes out at an incredible 1600 nits peak brightness by comparison. The Galaxy S20 Ultra has a peak brightness of 1400 nits. Samsung also improved the display's contrast ratio to 3 million, 1, as opposed to the 2 million, 1 on the previous generation. The new Exynos is believed to be a more power-efficient chip than prior generations, improving battery life. Both the Exynos 2100 and Snapdragon 875 are 5G-compatible chips, and there are 5G versions of every Galaxy S21 model, as was the case with the S20. There has not been any mention of any LTE-only models quite yet. However, we do know that the Galaxy S21 Ultra will be the only model to receive Wi-Fi 6E support, which Samsung claims it's about 2x faster than standard Wi-Fi 6. The battery capacities for the phones remain quite similar to the S20 series. The Galaxy S21 has a 4000 mAh battery, and the Galaxy S21 Ultra, a 5000 mAh battery. Some might have expected the Galaxy S21 and Galaxy S21 Ultra to get 45W fast charging since their predecessors maxed out at 25W. It doesn't. Both of the new flagships can charge your phone at a maximum of 25W. The camera arrays on the Galaxy S21 and Galaxy S21 Plus are reported to be the same as the Galaxy S20 series. They feature a 12MP main sensor, 64MP telephoto, and 12MP ultra-wide. The Galaxy S21 Ultra, however, does have a new camera setup. The main camera will feature an improved 108MP sensor, the second-generation version of the sensor Samsung uses in the Galaxy S20 Ultra and Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. The S21 Ultra will have the same 12MP ultra-wide as the Galaxy S21 and S21 Plus but will feature two telephoto sensors, a 3x optical telephoto and a 10x optical super telephoto. Samsung has added 130% larger pixels and dual pixel autofocus on both the 3x and 10x optical lens. Thanks to the new 10x optical sensor, 
Samsung will be reviving 100X Space Zoom. They used the laser autofocus on the S21 Ultra to remedy the focus issues the S20 Ultra experienced. With all the modifications and improvements in the features, it was anticipated that the Galaxy S21 series will incur a higher price tag, however, the pricing is a bit lower than what we had braced for. The Samsung S21 goes for $799, while the S21 Ultra goes for $1,199. Samsung S21 series also provides an ultra-wide band, also known as UWB, though it is supported on the Galaxy S21 Plus and Galaxy S21 Ultra. It's used to track Samsung's SmartThings tags. Samsung also added support for digital car keys to SmartThings with the S21 Plus and S21 Ultra. What do you think of the new Samsung S21 and the Samsung S21 Ultra? How would you compare it to the S20 series? Please share your opinions in the comments section below, and remember to click the subscribe button below to be the first person to watch new videos on this channel. Thank you.